because what I've been doing in there is I've been screwing boards into random trees and making makeshift hay rings. Good morning, beautiful people. So as you can see, we are out of the woods. We are up, up here on grass again, sort of. There's not a whole lot of grass winter over grass. here. Yeah, winter grass. Uh, quickly getting worked up into mud. Uh, so we ran the cow in the woods for about a month. And the reason for that is we want the hay in the woods. We want the manure in the woods because we're working on not only building silvopasture, but we are also building an orchard out there. It is kind of our covert orchard. We're replacing problem trees with really productive trees, nut trees, fruit trees, just things that we want, things that are a lot better out there uh, for both human consumption and animal consumption. So the other day I needed a hay ring because what I've been doing in there is I've been screwing boards into random trees and making makeshift hay rings. 
and they work okay. Um, really, the point of a hay ring is I want the impact in one area, and the way this cow is, I'm sure a lot of cows are, she would rather knock that bale over and lay in it and then get mad that she doesn't have any clean food to eat. So here's the hay ring. Um, as you can see, she has pulled most of that bale out of the hay ring. Uh, I would say probably 50% yeah. is on the ground, walked in, pooped in, and inedible now. Yep. Which is fine because I can take that hay along with spreading it in areas that need help. Um, I can bring it over here and I can give it to the pigs as bedding. Daisy's just got this look like, will you hurry up? <laughs> Come on, I'm ready. ready. I'm ready to get milked. Anyways, we are going to begin kind of slowly rotating, maybe every week, every two weeks, something like that, depending on when the spot needs it. Yeah. Uh, we're going to start rotating around. Um, there's a spot out on the other side of the property, kind of by the driveway, that really, really needs some some impact. We don't have a lot of topsoil out there. And a way to do it is to just drop tons of manure and hay and work it all into the soil and then I'll come back and I'll spread grass seed. But that'll be later. I'm gonna get this cow milked before she has a fit because <laughs> she's prone to do that. All right, so we are done milking. We figured we'd come up here since we were talking about it and actually show some of the uh, uh, impact. Yeah. This is what the tractor has done, getting in here to uh, give them hay bales. The entire time we've been here, we've done everything with the lawnmower and by hand. And honestly, the amount of impact is minimal. Yeah. Like very minimal. If it starts getting muddy, I can't use the lawnmower because it'll get stuck. It's two wheel drive. But having a four wheel drive, 5,000 pound implement, it makes a lot of impact. And that's something that I'm not real keen on but it is what it is. Up until now, we've pretty much done square bales, and so I can just manhandle those. I can't pick up a round bale by hand and move it. We've done round bales before, and I just peel off hay and drag a wagon, and that works, but it takes a long time daily to feed the cow. All right, so we did three spots in here, and the impact, like in this one, I'm pretty happy with the impact in here. She spread out a bale. I didn't have a bale ring, I just gave it to her, and she spread it out, and we only got like three days out of that spot. Yeah. Over here, I think we fed her three bales in here. Yeah. Um, I put boards up around those trees where all the hay is, and she worked a lot of that into the ground, and then I have came and got a lot of it that was out around and uh, giving it to the pigs, which they love it. And then this spot, the impact in this spot is so much higher because we got six inches of rain while she was in this spot. And so just the impact from her is insane. Once we got her out of here, we, we are very happy to not be in here anymore because it just got so muddy because of all the rain. But just putting some boards on some trees, that worked great. It kept the hay bale from getting laid in, um, aside from what she pulled off and you know, stood in. So having all of the mess where I need it is really handy, like really, really handy. As far as the impact goes, this is only slightly more impact than if I leave the pigs in one spot too long. Um, probably what I'll do now is I'll bring the guinea hogs from up there and put them out here and I could probably give them like a tarp or something <laughs> over where the hay was yeah. and they would be super happy. They would love having all that hay. Yeah, so these ones, I gave them a whole bunch of hay. They made a bed out of it. They didn't eat it. Yeah. The babies are the weirdos that decide to eat their bed. They like it. So, yeah, we, uh, I'm pretty happy with the impact. I don't think we compacted it too much. It was only like a week and a half in each spot. Yeah. Um, but this one, you, all the rain. it was all the rain. We had so much rain after we moved her into this spot. It was just like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. Like instant muck yeah. come in here. It's the kind of mud that you'll lose your boot if you don't pay attention. Yeah, so that's part of why we moved her up to the barn. Yeah, but. up up in the spots where there's a lot better drainage. We'll keep her there for a little bit, probably uh, a bale, maybe two bales. Yeah, we, we have more that, rain coming. So yeah, it's like, supposed uh, to rain tonight and then it's supposed to get really cold. We, uh, really this, uh, I think they're calling it a Siberian Express, this storm front that's coming through. We're gonna get down into nearly single digits, which is really cold for around here. The coldest we've seen since we've been here was 15 degrees. And 
we're supposed to get down to like 12 yeah 10 yeah maybe lower they yep. kind of it kind of keeps yeah the, the, even the weather people are like we don't know it's gonna be cold yeah we have prepared as much as we can prepare uh it's better to be prepared was it be prepared not scared yeah that's right that's that's right. pretty much the the mantra around yeah. here we kind of live in a state of preparedness that's just how we are yeah that's how um, we were raised we just keep doing it we don't like getting caught with our pants down so no. it ain't gonna happen yep Especially when it's this cold, that would be most unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. Don't get caught in single digits with your pants down. That's cold. Whew, ooh, it's a lot colder in this shadow. It is. <laughs> so coming through here with the tractor in the dugout, this is a mud hole. Over by where I get the hay, it has gotten so absolutely just sloppy, muddy. It's just, it's not how I like rolling. No. But it is what it is. It's kind of a necessary evil yeah. at this well, time. Well, part of it, up where the hay is, it's not graded to where it drains properly, right. um, which I'm probably going to have to find a new place to keep the hay Yeah. so it actually drains. Or as soon as it dries out a little bit, I can actually get in there and grade it to where it drains. All right, so today's a little bit shorter video. We are closing in on Christmas, and we're just trying to, like, taper off so we can enjoy the week after Christmas. We uh, we won't be posting the week after Christmas. We That has always been our vacation time. Yeah. Um, so we will be taking that week off. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of people take vacation that week. We're just we're not going to worry about YouTube. So we're going anywhere. We're going anywhere. We're, doing we're just <laughs> we're just going to hunker down, <laughs> enjoy the last week of the year. Watch movies. Watch movies just yeah. hunker down. Yep. That's and out here having actual cold weather. We can do that. We can. So we'll film today for tomorrow's video. Right. And then maybe one more video. Yeah. And then I guess that'll be it for the year. Yeah. So, all right, that'll do it for this, this video right here. And we will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.